everyone. Uh, I'm Xu Yang. I'm the professor in the material science engineering at University of Pennsylvania. And my partner, Alexander Tucker, uh, who is the director of the neurosurgery spine in the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We co-founded Vitrina last year to develop strong penis and scar minimizing tissue adhesives. So each year in the United States, uh, there are 6.8 million cranial procedures performed. And um, typically for head and face, but the wounds uh, are typically closed by sutures or staples. However, such kind of uh, closure could be painful and uh, causing the trauma to surrounding tissues then leading the scarring. And afterwards, they must be removed. So the alternative is the tissue adhesives. So although tissue adhesives are typically good for low tension areas such as trunk and elbows and uh, arms, they are not the right choices for pediatric cranial wounds um, or for sensitive skins. In particular, they are not good for high tension areas or hair covered areas. And one of the most commonly used uh, tissue adhesive, clinical uh, use tissue adhesive is called dermal bond. However, a dermal bond is messy to apply. It's a liquid, so they could drip into the eyes. And uh, they're uncomfortable to wear because they're sticky and also brittle after curing. And most importantly, it's actually weak for adherence to uh, the high tension areas such as scalp. And further, uh, they are not reversible. So if you want to remove it, you either have to wait for a couple of weeks for them to naturally fall off, or you pull, and which means you're also pulling off the hair, and which is, could be very painful. So at Vitrina, what we are trying to develop is Cytobond, uh, which offers strong adhesion, reversible adhesion, and scar minimizing you know, hydrogel tissue adhesive. What Cytobond can offer is a superior adhesion to dermal bond. It's a film, it could be a paste, and they offer comfortness because they can be uh, compliant to any of the irregular surfaces that are biocompatible. And uh, they are penis removal because it's reversible by simply bonding, debonding by exposure to the water at the ambient condition. And as a result, they can uh, minimize the scar. And also we can introduce additional backing layers to keep the moisture retained. So the advantage has already been proof of concept tested at work, all the way from mouse model to pig model to human model. As you can see from these images, we show strong adhesion compared to dermal bound to close the wound. Uh, they're biocompatible. And showing here on the pig skins, you can see these beautiful wrinkles because our film is very compliant and conformable. On the other hand, they have high strong, uh, strong adhesion. So as I mentioned, by simply wetting to the, to the water, so the film will be softened so they can be compliant to any of the irregular surfaces. And then when we don't want to use it after drying, they show strong adhesion. And when we want to remove it, again, we expose to the water. And as you can see here, they can be easily peeled off without pulling off the hair. So, so our products can offer um, the better outcome, patient outcome, patient satisfi satisfaction, and also uh, scar minimization. We are already developing uh, the transalkanemia drug delivery method to identify the pathway to minimize the scar formation. And compared to dermal bonds, I've already talked of several advantages compared to dermal bonds. Uh, there are other startup companies, uh, companies developing the hydrogel-based um, tissue adhesive. However, uh, they are typically not targeted in the same market, um, and uh, oftentimes they targeted for inside the body and for wet conditions, which means uh, the typical adhesion is much weaker compared to our materials. And of course, they are not targeted for reversibility. So far, uh, Petrina and the University of Pennsylvania and the uh, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, we have uh, filed IPs uh, we already uh, demonstrate proof of concept in small and large animals. We also identify 510K regulatory pathway. Uh, we know what are the predicates. Uh, we also identify reimbursement codes. 
And currently, our initial target uh, market will be for the brain surgery and the facial surgery. Uh, as on the other hand, our adhesives is a platform technology. It's not limited for the surgery or um, the face or scope. So we think there's a great potential to go to other areas, uh, whether it's medical, whether it's cosmetic, uh, there's many potentials. Um, but first, we need to demonstrate the pathway to the market. So uh, supported by Penn Health Tech Accelerated Programs, we already did technology de-risking. We also performed the customer discovery and we showed um, the validation on the small animals. We started to look into the large animals. So currently we just got a new grant from uh, the Manufacturing Pennsylvania Innovation Programs. So this will allow us to do large val animal validation. Most important, we are interested to demonstrate first in human. And with that, we were able to go next to apply for SBR grant, MedTech grants, uh, angel investment. Uh, we want to demonstrate full-scale large animal studies and going forward to the human trial. And we already started to talk with our uh, university and the children's hospital regulatory um, um, personnel to look into the FDA um, submission. And uh, so this is a car, our current team, and we have uh, one of the best material scientists and uh, a neurosurgeon collaboration. Um, and we're looking for CEO, CTO, and manufacturing partners and investors to take this excite, uh, exciting um, opportunity to go forward, to make impact to uh, the, our society. And alas, I'd like to thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. You also have our emails uh, at the bottom. So if you have any questions you wanna reach out, I will be happy to talk to you. Thank you.